Isil Nazar should not even be in a relationship based on his life situation, based on the way he treats his partners, and even based on his own principles. So back in 2014, Isil got divorced from his wife, who he was married to for six years, and they had a daughter together. His ex-wife got custody of their daughter, and they moved to France, while Isil went to places like China and Thailand, pretty much living the life of a single scholar without any children. For a period of time, he couldn't interact with his daughter, but eventually he was able to. Somewhere close to 2017, Isil got a new girlfriend named Melissa. But really, he should not have been looking for girlfriends in the first place and going on dates when he already has a daughter he needs to take care of. However, the most important reason to why he should not have a girlfriend is because of the way he treats his partners. I mean, just look at the way he treats Melissa. Even in the beginning of the relationship, he was the one who always talked while he kept Melissa quiet, as if she was a submissive servant. He is very disrespectful and toxic towards her. Now I really- but, Now but, I- Like, at the start of the relationship, I felt this way. At the start of this relationship, I was worried uh, that you were going to find someone more beautiful than me, or even yeah. s someone with more background that relates to your background. Someone yes, who's someone who's more compatible with, with me or something, or more, yeah, right? Right, in so someone many who's, ways. Someone who's smarter than you, yeah. sure, so all those from things. The start of the As the relationship went on, he makes her cry. He tells her that she is not beautiful enough, and she's not smart enough. He talks about other beautiful women right in front of her, and he even made videos on his channel dissing Melissa. Melissa basically listens to everything Isol says, even if she does so reluctantly. Isol wants Melissa to be his idea of an ideal vegan woman. Like I said before, even though he doesn't want to admit it, he is sexist. Isol is not too upset about vegan men having fun and doing what they want, but he disrespects and bullies women from the vegan community for having freedom. Just look at his videos from 2016. He even disrespected Unnatural Vegan, even though she is not a part of the so-called permanent vacation lifestyle. She just thinks for herself, and she disagreed with Isol on pet ownership. That's the thing. Isol doesn't want vegan women to think for themselves. He would rather want a slave who agrees with everything he says and lives the lifestyle he wants her to live. Like I said, he also occasionally puts them down on the way they look. And Melissa is trapped in this situation. She can't be the positive, happy person she could have been. Here's what it is. The main redeeming quality Melissa has that none of my other long-term relationships had is that I never have the same fight twice with her is that she actually learns from and has a new and different perspective on the issues from one argument to the other. I really genuinely feel that Melissa learns from experience. Learn from her experience. What do you mean by that, Isel? Why didn't you learn from your experience during this so-called argument? Why is she the only one who needs to change? You see, Isol already treats Melissa badly enough on camera. Imagine how badly he treats her when there are no cameras around. Isol, you should be grateful you even have a beautiful girlfriend like her. You don't even have a job. The money you make on Patreon and YouTube is not enough to sustain you every month. You are probably on welfare or something. Or maybe your girlfriend has a job, but you don't. And that would make you even more pathetic. And in terms of looks, you don't really have that much going on in that department. You are just a tall, slightly overweight, bald, middle-aged man. Uh, look, I may not be attractive to you personally, whoever you are watching this video, but life is not fair. I am in the group of men who never had trouble attracting women. Ever. Not when I was a teenager, That was a, not when I was an adult, etc. Um, what I had trouble with was finding women I could respect and have a meaningful relationship with.
So Izo brags about how despite looking the way he does, he never had trouble getting women to like him. But instead of being grateful, instead of thanking his lucky stars that attractive women accept him for the way he looks, he acts all arrogant with women and even thinks he can judge them harshly on the way they look. Unbelievable. Izel is such a monster. They're not good looking. Period. They're not. We there was one very, very good looking young woman I started talking to. And I have high standards. In case you don't follow this channel, I do have high standards. Yeah, as if Izel is a supermodel himself. He has such high standards for women, but low standards for himself. He is so quick to fat shame women, but he never thought of himself as the slightest bit overweight. People have not even bothered to comment on, understandably, the fact that he has also been saying again and again that I'm fat. It's worth musing on in terms of the absurdity of the situation and in terms of who you people are. My audience, Durian Writers audience, vegans in 2016, that that is even remotely acceptable. As it happens right now, I'm not fat. So given how he acts and what he has to offer, I don't get why Melissa is still with him. Secondly, Izel probably didn't treat his ex-wife that well either. Durian Roger actually speculated that there was domestic violence within the marriage. That's why his ex-wife had to get away from him. I don't know about that, but it is very likely that Izel was toxic to his ex-wife like he is towards Melissa. Then in 2016, he made videos on his channel talking about how his ex-wife was such a wonderful person while he insulted and bullied everyone else. Literally, his ex-wife was the only person he complimented as a wonderful person. That just screams desperation to me. He probably just said that so he can have a better court case with her. Unfortunately for Izel, it still didn't go well for him. Lastly, Izel, didn't you criticize Durian Ryder and Freely for being in a relationship together? You referred to them as bimbos for doing so and promoting their permanent vacation lifestyle. Don't you also criticize other vegan YouTubers for dating each other? So based on your own principles, you shouldn't be looking for a girlfriend yourself, let alone a girlfriend who is much younger than you, especially being a divorced, middle-aged, self-proclaimed intellectual with a daughter. I would understand if a single, never-married man without children who just wanted to have fun who did not think of himself as an intellectual wanted to look for a girlfriend to have a sexual relationship with. But it's just cringy when a man like you does that. Also, you have basically proven Durian Ryder right about you. And on the other hand, accusing me of having like a ton of women. Like they simultaneously are claiming both things about me. Like I've just got a, I've just got a gang of girlfriends, you know, behind me. <laughs> And then on the other hand, they're also insulting me by suggesting I'm like uh, desperate or working hard to get with women. So you claimed that you weren't looking for relationships, but yet here you are after 2016. Thus, Durian Ryder was right all along with his allegations, which you called defamation. To make it clear, Durian Ryder did not call you a rapist. He did not call you a pedophile. He simply said you were a predator. And that word is open to interpretation, quite honestly. It simply means when a male preys on females for love and sex. For you to get together with Melissa shows that you were stalking and preying on women within the vegan community in 2016 to try to find one that will have a relationship with you. And like I said, even though you got yourself a girlfriend like you wanted to, you are ungrateful. You can't treat her with respect and you bully her the same way you bully other women in the vegan community. If you can't treat them with respect, you should stay away from them. You should not initiate interaction with them. You should keep your mouth shut about them. Nonetheless, what's done is already done. I do think Melissa should break up with Izel. Ultimately, it's her own choice, but if 
or when this relationship ends. I don't think Isil should be in another relationship ever again.